guys I'm trying to get this shine off my face and it's just from where I'm sitting it's not gonna happen so I apologize what's happening what you guys been doing today Oh, you scared me. I had this thing in here. I thought it was going to be like a, the cannonball of death. What's happening? What you guys doing? Anything? How was your weekend? Are you staying on program? Well, I am. I am, but uh, I had a misfortunate event with some ice cream that it wasn't even really my fault. And it wasn't. It's tracked. It's in the uh, app. It's too shiny here. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, we went to the beach today, which I'm going to show you the video. I had to go swimming in my shorts because when I grabbed in my bathing suit to take in the car to change into there, well, when we went to change into it there, the bottoms were not there. I had dropped them in the living room. Of course, when I got home, they were laying on the floor. So I had to swim in my shorts, which was unfortunate, and they were heavy and salty and sandy, and the first thing I did when I got home was take a shower, and now I feel like a million bucks. Uh, it was nice. I love the beach. I feel like uh, this is a drastic and kind of the only way to get my point across. I feel like I could be dead or dying, and you could lay me on the beach, and if I can see the water and I can feel the sun, it would slowly bring me back to life. That's kind of how it felt today. I haven't been there in a long time and it just in fact Steve proposed to me on the beach on a day when um, I had woken up and I was out of sorts and we had already purchased my ring because we had seen it at another time and we agreed that that was it and we should get it but he said you know I'm not ready to give it to you yet okay so that particular morning I woke up and I was out of sorts and uh, he said get in the car I'm gonna take you to put your feet in the water and that's but we, we both know what that means. You know, he's taking me to the beach because it's what cures everything that ails me. I just, I know we all love the beach and I'm not the only one that loves the beach. And, you know, but I just, it's, it's the one place I can say that you can take me or I can go and whatever's ailing me, it, it will be fixed. I, I stay in the water forever. Um, I, I, I could stay there forever. So anyways, he proposed to me on the beach. He, he said, uh, I'm going back now because that's what I do. And I know you guys have learned. This is how my story and telling goes. We went to the beach. We went to El Matador Beach here in, um, in L.A. down by Malibu. And he went down this cliff and we went down into the water. And he said, go, go put your feet in the water. You know, just be off with you, woman. I've had it with you and your bad attitude. You know, he didn't say that because we weren't married yet and he still liked me, so he was still being nice to me. But that's pretty much what was coming across. And I went out to the water and now I'm having a mental block. I think I stayed out there for a while and with my feet in the water and I usually I just stand and pray. That's usually just what I'm doing. I stand with my feet in the water and I talk to God about everything that is good and not so good and alike. And I returned back to him and he reached in his pocket and I wasn't thinking, I just thought he was reaching for something out and he pulled out the ring and the first thing was I thought was, holy smokes, the ring was not in a box. The man had the ring in his pocket, not in a box and we were on sand. Oh, you know what, let me show you something, hold on. I ask you, what kind of wackadoodle puts a beautiful ring like this, you guys have all seen it before, too much glare, in their pocket well, on the sand, if that ring fell out, it would have been gone. Anyways, he proposed to me there. And then, if that wasn't enough, <laughs> you know, this is good that this happened today. Um, he had a baggie in his pocket. And he picked up the sand from where we stood. And he put it in a baggie and brought it home. And we keep it in here. I know there's a lot of glare, it's hard to see, but we got a big old margarita grass glass and uh, this is the sound from the day that he proposed to me and that's well. Oh, Anita, what a nice story. <laughs> it is a nice story. I haven't thought about it in a while. I'm glad we did, but now I can't remember why we went there. Just the beach. The beach is the, the place to be. Uh, that's one of the main reasons, even though I don't go as often as my 
soul and my heart and my being need. That's one of the reasons I would never move out of California. Because I need to have asset access to the beach stat. When we walked up from the car, there was a package on my front porch. <laughs> and um, I just picked up the package and brought it upstairs and ripped into it. Because usually I'll have my camera or something ready because I like to tape when I get something because usually you know if I didn't order it it's from somebody else who's being kind and I want to thank them and I o order opened it and it was from this lady named Kat and um Kat we all know Kat from Cat on Point and I will keep it short and I'll keep it sweet but she cracks me up she's just like the epitome of everything I wish I could be but I'm not and that's why I love her so much her voice is so calming and she's so beautiful and she gives off the aura of love and light and, and God and everything that's good, you know? And I just look at her and I listen to her talk. And if I'm having a bad day or I'm out of sorts, I will turn on her video just to listen to her soothing voice and and her, her laugh and her smile. And it always makes me feel better. She doesn't know I do that. She might think I'm a little weird, but I do. And I'm grateful for her and I have easy access and it's free. <laughs> She sent me this today. Does anybody know what this is? Because it took me a minute to know what it is. This is an egg cutter. This is the bad boy mother of all egg cutters. I have never seen such a thing. Let me tell you real quickly, the other day I was whining because I looked everywhere at all the stores for an egg cutter and I couldn't find one. And she saw, she saw that and she ordered this and sent it to me. And I am just in awe of this because because <laughs> of the note that she put in there. But it's like, I am like, I've never seen anything like this. Like, it's like, have you guys, have you, were you aware that such, such, such a device exists? I was not. Um, we opened it and then I had to get in the shower because I have sand. I had sand in cracks and crevices and anywhere else and I had to take a shower and I got out of the shower and Steve goes, <laughs> Steve says, I got the egg out of the ice chest. Are we going to use it? Because I put a hard boiled egg in the ice chest for the beach. And we were, we were both like, oh, look at that. So I said, I have to take a shower first, but he was ready to try it out. So we're going to try it out later. I had to show you guys this because it's just so cool. <laughs> I feel if I try to ride it like the spaceship, it'll take me to the moon. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you, my friend. I already thanked her for that to show you guys. I mean, how can I not know such things exist? So anyways, uh, it's been a good day. Now we're just going to sit and be quiet with the dogs and not move and not break a sweat because it's hot out there and I know it's hot. And that's about it. And I'm going to edit my beach tape, see if there's anything interesting. If not, you can at least listen to the sound of the waves in the background and maybe take a little nappy poo. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I did not drink enough water because... I did not take enough water, but I'm going to make up for that now. I have plenty of time, and yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm trying not to repeat. I repeat. I did a video before this one, but it was I was too shiny. It was too hard to look at. This one's not much better, so I'm redoing it. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. And I'm going to drink my water. Did I tell you about the ice cream incident? Hmm. Nine points for ice cream that I did not have to take if I wasn't so hard-headed. I'll catch you guys later. Good morning. It's, it's quarter to seven on Saturday. And I just... Uh, watched Kate and James and it got me in a vlogging mood and I'm hoping I'm gonna try to get the old man to drive down to the beach today because it's we're having a heat wave here I know it's hot everywhere in the world it's summertime and I understand that but I gotta show you the fan setup we have in our bedroom it was um, I went walking at 9 o'clock last night and it was 102 still Nita, sit down and talk to your friends since your back is bothering you this morning. 
woke up in a yakky mood. I woke up looking like like my dad. I look just like my dad since I didn't <laughs> dry my hair before I went to sleep. Let's have some coffee. I'd like to go to the beach. I'll pack us our lunch. And I'm kind of hungry now. Let's go get a banana or something. I bought this some time back. I don't remember where. I don't remember why. I think because Amy and his nurse uses it. And every morning, um, Steve says, So, are, are you using this? Like he forgot that yesterday morning. I said, No. But he's going to say it again today. So, so, got to make sure. So, Uno. Oh, actually, that's quite a bit. You know, sometimes I think we forget how much things are. And I'm going to use my trusty spoon to mix it with. <laughs> and I also like coffee with my sweetener. The ratio has to be just right. I tried to lean my coffee mug down, my coffee, my camera. So I'm going to use my California surfboard bug in hopes that it'll help my... I had a run in with some vanilla wafers last night. Luckily the box was almost empty so I just did the right thing. Stuck my hand in there, pulled them all out, ate them so I could finish off the box and not have it be a problem for anybody. I, I personally think it was the right thing to do. Here's mud in your eye. Feel good this morning though. I don't know. I feel like the sleeping fairies came and went ding ding. My husband though, I have to give him credit where credit is due. He, uh, since Oliver is not here, took the fan out of Oliver's room and brought it in our bedroom so is that on each side of our bed we had our own personal fan. <laughs> Maybe that has something to do with my mood. I don't like getting hot when I'm sleeping. I know nobody does and I but I think that some of you pals of mine who are of the same age I mean we're hot enough as it is. We don't need to be hot any extra time. Here's a turtle for all us turtles and Weight Watchers. Well, we came down to the beach and right now we're going to have to talk about non-scale victories because I'm a little ticked off at myself. I somehow got top of my bathing suit in the car but the bottoms did not make it so I cannot get into the water all the way and I like to get into the water all the way I have my jean shorts on but you girls know how heavy these are when they get wet and I don't want to get them wet so I'm not too thrilled right now but the one non-scale victory that I have right now as I attempt to cheer myself up is that I, instead of just sitting here when I realized I didn't have my bottoms, I did walk up to the car and look and come back when before I probably wouldn't have even taken the time or the effort to do that much.
Okay, well we ate our sandwiches and we had our corn puffs and now I'm gonna have some of the sweeter puffs. Steve's having an apple. Did we bring two apples or one apple? So there's another apple in there I could have. And um, some yogurt. Oh, I just had a Jello. That's what I turned this on to tell you guys. Kind of got distracted. I brought a Jello. I brought a hard boiled egg. But I didn't put in any of the little Weight Watcher treats, and I want some chocolate or something like that. They have a, the ice cream store shop thing up there. Maybe we'll go in there before we go home. He's nodding his head. Can you see the ocean behind me? Time to walk down there, I think. I walked down there. Steve and I walked down there. There's two lovely ladies from Connecticut that I chatted with for a while. Or they chatted and I nodded. And now I'm ready to go back and get wet again. So you guys, I want to tell you that I am trying to get some Wi-Fi here because I'm trying to look up to see how everybody's weigh-in went today and I can't get any, any reception. I'm trying to figure out how Carrie did. I'm trying to figure out if Amy has checked in, uh, Sandy's out of town, who else am I missing? Uh, I can't think when I don't have my phone in my face on who exactly I'm looking at, but you all know who you are and wonder how much, how many points one of those, you know, let me, let me just have a taste of that. Than what it was earlier. Can you guys see these, these two ladies down here? It was kind of interesting because I stood out and I talked to them for quite some time. And then they walked up back here and I'm like, where are you guys going? And they said, oh, we're going to go have a cigarette. And it dawned on me that I have not seen one single person smoke a cigarette on this beach since I've been here. Now, I haven't smoked in a million years myself, so I don't know what the law is. But I think that's kind of cool, right? That means that if nobody's, whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. If nobody's smoking, there's no butts in our sand, right? Let me see if this tripod will work. Hold on. Waves are getting bigger. Oh, that works pretty good. So, I don't know how you guys are doing. I don't know how weigh-in's going, but I'll check in as soon as I can. Okay, so, oh, there you are. There's Anita. I'm having my apple. I'm having her apple. One apple a day keeps the doctor away. You prepare it, bring your stuff with you, even if you're going to the beach. Pack up your cooler, show them the cooler, babe. I gotta go slow. No offense, but you're not really a naturalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in your blood like it's in my blood. Hello. You can turn it off now if you like. Yeah, she's going to finish it. If she doesn't finish it, I'll finish it. See ya. We came over and got ice cream and I ate mine before I taped it. But I just had some vanilla soft serve and some strawberries. Now we're just going to walk around. This place is where we got the ice cream from and we got two small things of ice cream that was $12. <laughs> huh. Oh, <laughs> Expensive ice cream. Six bucks. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
that guy back there. They had some guys in here. Oh, now I'm full of ice cream. Uh, oh, how rude. <laughs> See, I wish we were up there eating some Mexican food right now, sitting on the patio. Mm, bean burrito? Not necessarily bean burrito, <laughs> but something. Go ahead, I'll follow you. These guys just came in from a dive trip. That would be kind of a trip to do. Alright, now I gotta get Steve to get me in the car and take me home because he doesn't understand knocking around in these wet shorts. It's not so comfortable. He just stands over there like Ferdinand the Bull. shorts full of sand is not my idea of a great time. <laughs> Thankfully it's not that far. And we've made kind of a discovery, well kind of, sort of. And you know what, I, I never have dairy. When I do, all I have is light sour cream, right? Mm -hmm. Cheese. Light sour cream, light cheese, but I just had full regular ice cream and my belly's not happy. And I, soft serve. Soft serve. But how much did I have, you think? That was, one, that was about about one cup. You think so? But it was hollow in the center, though. Okay, well then half a cup. And I had just had vanilla and I had strawberries on it because the communication in that ice cream shop it wasn't so good. It wasn't so good at all. He couldn't hear me. I couldn't hear him. And then I was like, just forget it. Let's just go. And then this one said what I was saying on three times louder. <laughs> he thought by saying what I was saying at ten decibels. At 11 decibels was going to make a difference. <laughs> when I could out loud him on his loudest day. <laughs> Some things they just don't learn. So we're going home. I looked on the weather app and it's 103 at home. Um, where we were it was 85. Yeah, where we were it was 85. And you can tell I got some sun. And it seems like, it seems like when I go into the sun, my gray gets grayer. Is that a possibility? I don't know, but. All right, so we're gonna go home, see how the dogs are, see how warm it is in the humble abode and get out of these wet and salty shorts. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. I could take that and I could run with it, but this is a family channel, so I'll just leave it there.